Hello, my name is Steve and welcome to Unboxing the Boxes, the Star Wars Collection. Many of us love to get Star Wars toys under the Christmas tree. We would have been very happy to get this Luke Skywalker and Tauntaun. But how big would our eyes have got and our smiles have got if we would have got a much larger version of this? This is episode 25, the 12 inch action figures and their rides. <laughs> When I began making these videos, I did not know if I would make it to video number 25 or not. But since I did, I thought I would do something a little more special. So I got out the big ones. The 12 inch action figures and their rides, be it animal or vehicle. Now, I've only got a few of these, not too many of them, but I thought I'd share them with you. But before I do, I'd like to thank those of you who have liked these videos who have shared them with your friends, and who have subscribed to the channel. Um, once again, you guys are the reason that I make these videos. So, before I bring out these big ones, I'd like to invite you once again to like the video, to share it, and to subscribe to the channel. And without further ado, it is time to begin. So let's get rid of this little one off to the side here. And let's bring out the first of the 12-inch action figures and their ride. So we're going to start with one of those from the Power of the Jedi series. This is Captain Tarples and his Kadu. I think that's how you say it, Kadu. So as you can see, there is a fair amount of detail on this thing. First of all, we get the full Captain Tarples. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but his leg is kind of a bent a little bit as if he's running away from the katu but the figure is designed that you could actually put him up on the big animal here and have him ride around living out your uh, star wars fantasies as you go i do like the box and especially that there is a background to it if you look at there you can see that there is a background of the fight on Theed, or naboo i should say the fight on Naboo that the Gungans got involved with. The box has a nice big window on the front so you can actually see both figures. Nice little scene from the movie on the side. And on the back, we've got a very nice description of the character showing him mounted on the animal along with some of the uh, attributes of it. And once again, another scene from the movie to show where it fits into everything. So that is the first one of the big action figures. Shall we move on to the next? Okay, that action figure was from The Phantom Menace, episode one. But let's go back to the original show, the, uh, as most of you know it, A New Hope which will always be just Star Wars to me, because that's what it was called when it originally came out in the theater. There was no chapters or anything. And this next figure comes from A New Hope. It is part of the Power of the Force series, and this is a heavy one. This weighs about 10 pounds. 10 pounds of action figure. And of course, as you can see, this is the Dewback and Stormtrooper. We see them briefly twice in the movie. Once out in the desert with the stormtrooper riding it. And then second time we see one of the dewbacks next to the cantina that Obi-Wan and Luke walk into to find a ride to get off planet. This is a big one. Um, but anyway, this is a really neat figure. Um, the dewback is fairly detailed. Um, even has, and I don't know if you can see it or not, but even has claws on its feet. Some pretty good uh, claws down there. We do have the Stormtrooper in the background. And as you can see, the Stormtrooper can ride the Dewback. Again, on the side of the box, we do have a short scene from the movie. 
basically the same on both sides of the box. And on the back, we can see again a description of the various attributes of the figure. Another scene from the movie. And uh, actually it's the same scene, just a slightly different version. But very, very nice. This one, what did I pay for it? Well, I can't quite make out... It's got a sale price sticker over the regular price. Let's see if I can peel that off just a little bit. I don't always pull the stickers off the boxes because it's always fun to go back, I think, and see what the actual costs of these things were. I know some people love to tear the stickers off because they think it gets in the way of things. Um, depending on where they put the sticker, I would agree. Uh -huh, I'm getting it far enough here. This originally was $79.00 and 99 cents so 80 bucks i was able to pick this up on sale back then for 30 dollars 29.98 not a bad price for a 12 inch figure like this so there it is the dewback and stormtrooper what's next next in line we have one of the vehicles in fact this one is from the Power of the Jedi series, so the same series as uh, Captain Tarpole's there. But this one is from the Return of the Jedi show, movie, <laughs> and it is the speeder bike with Luke Skywalker. That is a big piece. Of course, it has to be when you're dealing with 12-inch action figures. How would you have felt if you would have got this under the tree? Wow. Anyway. This one, as you can see, beautiful background of the box. They, they, I think they did a nice job with the packaging again because it seems to fit right into the world. In fact, you could probably open the box nicely and you could use that as a background. And the background does show a stormtrooper riding his speeder bike trying to catch Luke here. Um, the speeder bike is fairly detailed. It's got quite a few buttons on it. I don't know if they actually do anything. Even comes with a little uh, cloth. I don't know if that's supposed to be a bag or a parachute or what it is. But it does have that on the background. And, I don't know, this is one of those figures you're almost tempted to open up and just play with a little bit. But I resisted. I did not do it. Um, this is not a pristine box. It's never been opened, but it is not pristine. I do have it banged up here a little bit. But you know what? For the price I paid for it, I'm not going to argue too much. Again, on the sides... You get a picture of Luke, and on the back, you get a picture of the whole thing with the various details about it again. I do like that he has a three-position posable action stand. So you can have him straight up, or you could have him leaning one way or other, as if he is um, banking into a corner. So what did I pay for this one? Well, surprisingly, the regular price on this figure was only $40 compared to that dewback, which was double that price. But once again, I got it on sale. I paid $27.90 for it. So I got it $10 off. So I thought this was a really nice addition to my collection. But, of course, if you've got Luke on Land Speeder, is there a chance of getting Leia on Land Speeder? Well, of course! Just had to get it in a different series. But anyway, here's Leia. Uh, once again, she was $50. I'll tell you what I paid for the price here in just a little bit. But Leia, once again, on a uh, stand. On a stand that also swivels in the three different directions. So you could put her up on a... Uh, you could have her and Luke next to each other going around the trees and so forth. Um, there again... It looks very much like the same speeder. A little different type of paint job on it. Luke's doesn't show a whole lot of the battle scars and the wear on it. Where Leia's, you can see hers is a little more detailed. We got some wear and tear on this speeder bike. There again, they did a very nice job with the background of the box on the inside. Showing once again a stormtrooper up here in the corner that is after her. Um, on the sides again, we got a picture of Princess Leia. And on the back, 
we've got a description again of the figure, what it all has. And on this one, we even got some of the other 12 inch action figures that you could buy out of this series. Now, what did I pay for this one? Well, like I said, it was $50, which is $10 more than Luke for some reason, but I paid less for this one. I got this one on closeout for $10.98. That's right, only $11. I got this for less than a six inch Black Series figures cost nowadays. Gotta watch for those bargains. Then of course we got the last one, the one that I teased at the beginning of the show. And that is Luke Skywalker and Tauntaun. This thing is big. As you can see, this one pretty much fills the top, top to bottom of my screen. Now I'm gonna pull in the little three and a half inch again, just so you can see a comparison of the size of these things. This would have been a lot of fun in a Minnesota winter to take outside and recreate scenes. But um, as far as the Tauntaun goes, he's pretty much all plastic. There's no real hair on him. Um, but Luke's figure is wearing cloth clothing. So that probably would have got wet and soiled and everything if I would have taken him out. Um, here again, nice detail on everything. The paw, or the arms move, the legs move. And then, of course, you got the 12-inch uh, figure of Luke that I'm sure his arms and everything moves, his elbows and so forth. Um, you can't really see it. I, I first thought this was just a blah background. But no, it is actually a little bit of a scene from Hoth. But, of course, Hoth is all white. But if you look in the back portion back here, there is a wampa about to attack him. You can kind of see him back here on the side. So they kind of hid the action sequence on this one. This is the only one I think that actually had a wraparound bubble. Well, this Leia did have a little bit of a wraparound bubble here, but this one you really needed a big one so that you could see the side of the Tauntaun. Uh, of course, no picture on this side. That side, we do have a picture of Luke and the Tauntaun. And on the back, once again, we have a nice description of the various, um, parts of it and you can see how Luke is posable. Um, one thing I do like with this one, Luke even has a black eye. <laughs> yeah, he's already been hit by the Wampa on this one. So probably about the only 12 inch action figure of Luke that actually shows him battle scarred from his uh, attack from the Wampa. And once again, we do have other 12 inch action figures shown here that you can collect to your series. But there we go. That is Luke Skywalker and the Tauntaun. So out of these, which one was your favorite? Which one of these action figures do you like best? Which ride do you like best? Leave a comment down below and let me know which one you uh, would like to have on your collection or would you just like to have all five? Now, one thing I want to let you know, I did a little research beforehand and I did not get all of the 12 inch action figures and their rides. I'm missing, I think, two or three of them. I know there is a Darth Maul with his, uh, I don't know if you'd call it a speeder bike or whatever, you know, that he rode in uh, The Phantom Menace when he went around Tat Tatooine. Um, and I think there was at least one other one, which I can't think of at the moment. But yeah, these, these are some of my favorite figures of my collection because they are so large and because they did come with the various rides. So once again, I invite you to like the video, to share it with your friends, to subscribe to the channel, and let me know which of these five was your favorite. So until next time, may the force be with you and keep collecting. Little postscript note for those of you that stuck around. I forgot to tell you how much I paid for Luke and the Tauntaun. After all, I told you some of the prices on the other ones. Well, this one, I don't know what the regular price was, but I was able to pick this one up for only $31. Imagine finding this in a store for $31 nowadays. Well, take care. Have a good holiday. See you later.